Welcome to Operations Management. Let us try to solve uh, two exercises. Uh, first exercise is this one. Uh, let me read it for you. South Easter Bell starts a certain switch connector at its uh, central warehouse for supplying field service offices. The yearly demand for these connectors is 15,400 units. Southeastern estimates it annual holding cost uh, for this item to be $26 per unit. The cost to place and process an order from the supplier is $75. The company operates 300 days per year, and the lead time to receive an order from the supplier is three working days. And there are four questions to answer, and uh, this question is very similar to your um, quiz question. What is the economy order quantity? And what are the annual holding costs? What are the annual ordering costs? And what is the reorder point? Here's the solution. First of all, if you are given this kind of question, you should write down all the information available on the question. Annual demand is 15,400 units. A set of cost per order is $75, and handling cost per unit per year is $26, annual working days is 300 days, and lead time is 3 working days. These are all given from the uh, question itself. Then you can calculate EOQ using the formula Q star equals uh, square root of 2 times D times S over H, and plug in D sh that you found from the question and you will find that uh, the q star is 298 units this is the eoq now you are able to calculate annual holding cost as well which is 3874 how did i calculate that the formula for annual holding cost is q over 2 times h so you just plug those number q 298 divided by 2 times h, uh, $26 per unit per year. So that's annual holding cost. Please remember that EOK is the point where holding costs and ordering costs intersect. Therefore, the answer for ordering costs should be uh, the same or similar. Total, uh, total cost, so it's 3,875. And the total cost is simply the addition of holding costs to ordering costs. So TC, D over Q plus S plus Q over 2 times H. So it sum these two um, costs up, then you have $7,749. Last, lastly, uh, the reorder point is daily demand times lead time. Uh, daily demand is annual demand divided by the number of working days. Therefore, Reorder point is 154 units. So daily demand time lead time. So daily demand was, we know that uh, uh, um, annual demand is 15,400 divided by the number of working days to find out the daily demand and multiply it by lead time. And lead time is given as three days. Therefore, you have to have uh, 154 units Whenever your inventory reaches 150 units, 54 units, you have to reorder. Here's the second exercise. Let me read it for you. Uh, Redovilski Manufacturing Company in Hayward, California, makes flashing lights for toys. The company operates its production facility 300 days per year. It has orders for about 11,841 flashing lights per year and has the capability of producing 95, day, uh, 95 per day. Setting up the light production costs $49.82. The cost of each light is $0.96. The holding cost is $0.14 cents per light per year. What is the optimal size of production run? What is the average holding cost per year? and the uh, uh, average set of cost per year, and what is the total cost per year, including the cost of the lights. So here's the question. And again, you want to find out all the information that you can. 
and you see the uh, the annual demand is 11,841 um, and setup cost is 49.82 H handling cost is 14 cents per item annually and daily demand is um, annual demand 11,841 divided by 300 so it's uh, 39.7 and daily production is given as 95 per day so I can put it here so the formula for production run is a little bit different that's why I'm taking this example here so what is the optimal size of the production run uh, when you are using EOQP that's production run EOQ for production run you have to use a different formula which is QP equals square root of 2DS it's the same thing over H and this uh, clause uh, are added here so 1 minus D over P that has to be included and you know what daily um, uh, demand is and daily production is so 1 minus that will produce 30,797 now second question is what is the average holding cost per year and the holding cost is the same as a, uh, Q over 2 times H right so that's the normal one but in production run you have to include this 1 minus D over P before H so you put that there and plug those numbers in here and calculate and you will find 155 what about the average set of cost every set of cost um, is does not change just use a QP that we found 3797 and then you will be able to find the answer and lastly the total cost per year is a little bit different in this case um, we are looking at not only annual holding costs and annual setup costs but also production cost so uh, because we are looking at the total cost so in this case we will include uh, the annual holding cost which is 155 and uh, because this is the point where uh, it intersects with annual setup cost it should be the same so, so 155 plus and another 155 plus production cost what is the production cost and we see that uh, a production cost is the cost uh, times the number of uh, um, uh, things that you are producing so the product cost will be uh, the annual demand times the product cost so we know the annual demand is 11,841 times here um, the product cost is 49.82 so multiply them together and uh, add them then you will have total cost so annual holding cost which is 155 annual set of cost 155 and product cost will be 11,841 times 49.82 that will be the answer In summary, we have learned two important topics in this lecture. First one was inventory management is crucial in business. And second one was economic order quantity model. Inventory management plays an important role because it takes up as much as 50% of the cost, capital cost. Even though it is costly, one has to carry it because it is necessary for running a business and can even serve as a strategic purpose such as mitigating the fluctuations of price, preparation for demand surge and discounts. We also learned how to drive EOQ, uh, set of costs, holding costs, total costs, frequency of orders, and reorder point. I hope that this lecture is helpful for expanding your understanding on inventory management. Thank you.